Pick them. Right. Let's go. Aaron. With the 24th selection in the 2005 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Aaron Rodgers, quarterback to California. There you go. Good for him. <laughs> People in this crowd, they've been rooting for him all day. He should play his home games here at the Javits Center. <laughs> but you know what? Good for the Packers. And good for him. Yeah. No pressure now. Go learn from the bat, one of the best ever. Absolutely. And, and bring your thermal underwear. <laughs> With the uh, fifth choice in the 2006 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select A.J. Hawk, linebacker, Ohio State. You look at the six foot one, 248 pound senior, high floor, we talked about that. He's a three down linebacker. I said a long time ago he'd be a top 10. With the 16th pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Justin Harrell, defensive tackle, Tennessee. Now let me tell you something guys, that's a direct reflection on Allen Branch, the defensive tackle from Michigan, who most people thought was a top 10. Justin Harrell is a kid that got hurt early in the season. He's a very versatile defensive tackle. I think he could play the five technique. He tore his biceps early in 06. If DJ Raji goes here to Green Bay, which is a perfect scheme fit, it sets up an interesting conundrum at San Francisco at 10 with Crabtree and the tackle there. They have needs at both positions. So if Raji's the guy at nine, it's gonna be an interesting discussion at 10. With the ninth pick in the 2009 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select B.J. Raji, defensive tackle, Boston College. Mike Mayock just sat up a little straighter as an eagle gets drafted into the National Football League. Look at him. <laughs> Celebration in the Raji household. Good stuff. The New England Patriots have traded the 26th pick in the draft to the Green Bay Packers. With the 26th pick in the 2009 draft, the Green Bay Packers select Clay Matthews, linebacker, Southern California. Uh, so they're the ones who go bloodline, Mike Mayock. Green Bay. And that's interesting. Remember, with their ninth pick overall, they took B.J. Raji, the nose tackle. Now, they obviously feel that Clay Matthews because he's a gifted athlete. He's probably the best special teams player in this entire draft. He can play the nickel linebacker. With the 23rd pick in the 2010 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Brian Bulaga. Offensive tackle, Iowa. Well, I mean, at 23, that's an incredible value pick, to use that phrase that we hear so much, Mike. Yeah, and with Clifton and Tauscher, the two starters, there's a great sigh of relief. Look at that, look at that big blockhead. I mean, that is the face of Iowa right there, folks. Midwest guy, he look at that. in Green Bay. How good's that? Look at him. All right, here's the Green Bay Packers to wrap up the night with their final pick of the Thursday night. With the 32nd pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers select Derek Sherrard, offensive tackle, Mississippi State. So they went for protection for Aaron Rodgers, Mike. And to me, it's a really natural pick again. Chad Clifton's getting old. You can keep Bulaga on the right side. Sherrod is a left tackle. He's a finesse left tackle, a better pass protector. I think he needs to play with a little better leverage. With the 28th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Nick Perry, linebacker, USC. And remember, they're looking for an edge presence across from Clay Matthews. This kid's tape ran hot and cold. When he was good, he was really good. This is a 270 pounder that can stick his hand in the dirt and rush. He's also athletic enough to drop. There's a lot of fight on going on in the NFC North as the commissioner gives the 20th of the 27 players. Okay. We With the 26th pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select 
Dayton Jones, yes. defensive end, UCLA. 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 One of Jim Moore's kids coming to the stage right now. He's a good player. He's the 27th player on my board. And because Green Bay plays a 3-4 defense, this kid's an ideal fit. Now, at UCLA, they moved him all over the front. He lined up on nose. He schemed the verse. And I love the kid's upside. At the Senior Bowl, he played at 280 pounds. And look at the family react. On Skype, oh, yeah. they're having a great time there. We're going from the West Coast to some snow, baby. That's right. <laughs> With the 21st pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Ha Ha Clinton Dix, defensive back, Alabama. That pick made a ton of sense. Tackling the run game. In, a, in the open field, he misses surprisingly mm. few tackles. As a center fielder, he's a natural. He covers ground. He reads the quarterback's eyes. That's Johnny Football throwing the ball. Look at the break on the ball. With the 30th pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Demarius Randall, defensive back, Arizona State. He is what today's free safety is all about. 5'11", 196. He ran 4-4-5. He is by far the best coverage safety in this draft. Commissioner Roger Goodell has the pick of the Green Bay Packers. Here it is at 27. <laughs> With the 27th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Kenny Clark, defensive tackle, UCLA. But think about the comparison for Kenny Clark. He got more active as his career went along at UCLA. He wasn't just simply a run-stopping guy on the inside. With the 18th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Jair Alexander, defensive back, Louisville. Watching this guy, I thought about the Honey Badger. It's, oh, he's a little undersized, but he's all over the field making plays in the run and the pass. I mean, he's 5'10 and a quarter, 196. He plays bigger, coach. Yes, And that's does. what I like about him. All right, here comes the first of the two Green Bay Packers picks. Again, they got the other one in the trade with the New Orleans Saints. The first in the Matt LaFleur era. Let's see where they go. With the 12th pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Rashawn Gary, linebacker, Michigan. So Rashawn Gary goes off the board, 12th overall, second Michigan defensive player we've seen in the last three picks. What's interesting here is that Rashawn Gary, when he went to Michigan, was the number one recruit in the country. And he blew people away again at the combine with the numbers he put up in terms of weightlifting and the 40 time and all that kind of stuff. So the Green Bay Packers, are waiting as are the fans at the Stadium View Bar and Grill in Green Bay. So this is a, a situation here where Green Bay has a lot of flexibility. They already went with Sean Gary with their first pick. Where will they go here? Let's go to the commissioner. The Seattle Seahawks have traded the 21st pick to the Green Bay Packers. And with the 21st pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Darnell Savage. Defensive back, Maryland. Okay. By the way, I love the reaction. I've never heard of that player, but I'm cheering for him. Okay. Apparently, the pick is in for Green Bay, so let's find out what the Packers are going to do. Again, they moved up in a trade here uh, with Miami. Miami will only have two first-round picks. Back. Here is Green Bay. Let's find out where they Come go. On, we've been waiting all night for this. Let's go. The Miami Dolphins have traded the 26th pick to the Green Bay Packers. With the 26th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Jordan Love, quarterback, Utah State. Okay, this is fascinating because I believe Aaron Rodgers is the same age as Brett Favre was in 2005 when they selected Aaron Rodgers in the first round, stunning Brett Favre, 
And you have to wonder how stunned Aaron Rodgers might be that a quarterback is going 26th overall when Aaron Rodgers went 24th overall in the 2005 draft. But there you have the fourth quarterback in the first round. And this was a guy who was a late bloomer. You see there, 5'6", 130 when he entered high school. He's now 6'3", 224 pounds. And he broke the records at Utah State. With the 29th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Eric Stokes, defensive back, Georgia. Hmm, that's an interesting pick. Stokes, once upon a time, was seen as more of a track star than a football player. And excelled at that in high school, then went to Athens. First team All-SEC this year, tied for eighth in the nation in interceptions. With the 22nd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Quay Walker, linebacker, Georgia. All right, so another Bulldog goes off the board. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, I, I know he wants a wide receiver. I know Packer fans might want a wide receiver. The value just wasn't there. And Quay Walker is a unique player. He could play on the line, over the tight end. He could also play off the ball as well. With the 28th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Devontae Wyatt, defensive tackle, Georgia. I know a lot of people keep waiting for this wide receiver, Rich, but it's just not there. The value's not there. I think this is smart by the Green Bay Packers. Just just, just trust the board. There's going to be more wide receivers in this draft. You're going to be able to get Aaron Rodgers some help. The value, again, wasn't there at 22. It wasn't here right now either. These are two really good defensive players they've added to their front seven. With the 13th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select... Lucas Finesse, defensive end, Iowa. So an Iowa kid is moving to Wisconsin. What do you think? Well, this is a physical, rugged player, and we got to start with the elephant in the room because one of the critiques has been, hey, this guy didn't start at Iowa. Yeah. Why, why didn't he start? How is he a first-round pick? Well, they always play the older veteran leaders. Joel, you know that call in all those games. No Parker. But he is their best defensive player, make no mistake about it. Inside, outside, he's got violent hands. You see his power right there working off the edge. They work him on the edge. He can knock you back in the run game. And then you can also kick him inside and let him rush in these sub downs. Guards had no chance against him in the Big Ten. He was too quick. He was too explosive. Again, that long arm inside. He's a very dynamic player. He does not stop. Every great pass rusher has this trait. They're relentless. And something just feels right. A guy from Iowa who's going to Green Bay plays hockey and gets after people, CD. This just feels right. Oh, he he hello, boards. Here, here, here comes, oh, here comes a human. Hello, board. Here comes human. Wow.